to get a quieter helmet because this helmet's freaking loud as crap. Hopefully I can make it in time to this test I gotta take. Good thing there's not very many people on the road today because I'm just kind of cruising along. I somewhat know where I have to go. Not 100%, but I guess I can figure it out. This road is fresh, man. Very fresh. I can feel my tires sticking to it. But yeah, let me take this test and get a good grade on it before I talk to you guys. Hopefully I do good. Yay, I passed. I actually passed with a pretty good score on my riding test. Yeah, I'm glad I got that test over with. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now I got all my college testing done. So I'm in dual credit classes now for next year. Yay. So now I'm, I guess, a college student. Good thing about dual credit is I can get rid of a year of college if I do it this year and next year. So that's pretty dope. Pretty dope, pretty dope. You know, one of these days I might change the gearing on this bike. I might go a little bit smaller on the sprocket so it cruises better. Because I'm at like 4500 RPM going 65 and it doesn't really... I feel like 4500 RPM is a little high, I don't know. It says eco modes on so I'm supposed to be getting better gas mileage. That GTR was pretty cool that I saw earlier. I couldn't really hear it. I mean, I, you can't really hear much once you're on the highway on a bike. I mean, you, hear, you feel the wind and you hear the wind. That's just about all you hear. I can just barely hear myself talking right now and I'm just cruising along. I'm actually going to take this exit up here because it's a nice section of like, just like a nice curve and I like riding on it. So it's a pretty nice Dodge right there. I'll tell you that. I was surprised whenever somebody told me that those Cummins were a six cylinder. I always thought they were a V8 but turns out they're straight six. Man. If there wasn't people here, I'd like to cruise on that corner a little bit more, but what can I say? Oh God, here's a bridge. It always sounds so good. I'm pretty sure there's a little go-kart track up here. I used to go to it all the time. Yeah, there it is. I want to take a bike out there one of these days. It'd be pretty sick to take like a my KLX 110 with some street tires on it. Oh, that would be badass. I watched a couple of B-Rad's videos and stuff when they were with their little mini bikes at the track. A little go-kart track and that was pretty sick. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that Camaro sounded like an asshole. Dude, my tires are so sticky on this ground. I guess because it's so hot and my tires are just sticking really, really good. <laughs> that thing's kind of cool. What is that, a Ranger? Polaris? It's pretty sick, not gonna lie. It's got like tractor tires on it and those rims are huge. Those are like 20s. What up? We got some cool kids in front of us. Dude, power wheelies? They are the shit. I've started to realize that like whenever you do wheelies on a bike, you want to squeeze your legs and just kind of tense up while you're doing wheelies. It's going to make you a little bit more tired but you'll be able to control it a lot better. Just don't twitch the throttle, you'll be good. Man, I can't tell people enough how much I wish people that did wheelies would learn the rear brake. Go ahead, dickhead, just pull out right in front of me, that's nice. That's why your car's all screwed up in the back, because you pull out in front of people, dickhead. Well, I guess I'm gonna end the video here looking at that dope-ass Lexus over there slammed to the floor. That's actually pretty freaking clean. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Ride safe. Peace out.